Hey fam, it's me. Back to show you how to make this in your Instant Pot, child. Oh my word. Today is the day. Pull it out. Let's get started. Now, a lot of it of the prep work was done a day prior. I washed the veggies, chopped them up, covered them with saran wrap, put them in the fridge, and now they're ready to go. Now, that napkin will come back to it. That's just a little bit of fresh parsley. We're going to use to garnish our majestic meal. Now, I'm going to use ground turkey. This is the brand I like to use. I'm going to use a half pound and a quarter. I'm just basically cutting this in half. Next, I have our Instant Pot turned on the saute on normal, uh, the normal setting. And I'm just showing you here all of the ingredients that we're going to use today. And listen, I'm not picky about nothing, y'all. I got what was on sale, and that's what I'm rolling with. Okay? Do whatever you like. This is your recipe. Make it yours. So now our Instant Pot has come up to heat. After I press the saute button and let it come up to a heat, it's hot and ready to go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take half of our meat. I'm just going to guesstimate. I've been doing this for so many years now, I can just look at it and tell. It's not that hard, y'all. Now, to keep this low fat as possible, again, I have this on the normal setting, saute. I'm not going to add any oil to the meat. No oil at all. Add the meat. Mince it down small um, as you can get it. I don't like spaghetti with big chunks of turkey or beef or whatever it is. So even when I do uh, tacos, I like to mince my meat very fine. And that's what you'll see me doing here. Now, a quick tip. Wait to add your seasonings until everything has heated up through. And then add it because they'll actually bloom and the flavor will blossom even more. Instead of adding your spices to a cold pot, add it to the warm pot. It's just, it's just going to make for a better finished product. I don't know if you've heard, but a party ain't a party unless you got some Lowry season salt. I got some Lowry season salt, curry, a little bit of dill, black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, and paprika. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to our hot pot with our meat and let it balloon, y'all. I also added a few uh, red pepper, crushed red pepper flakes just for a little bit of kick. And again, I'm doing the same thing. Each, each step, I'm just mixing the meat down even smaller and letting it cook. Oh my goodness, y'all. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. If you're making it with me, you smell it. it smells good, right? Oh my goodness, there's nothing like spaghetti. It's my comfort food. I've always loved spaghetti. Okay, so our meat is done. Woohoo! All right, y'all. We're going to remove this from the pot and go ahead and add our veggies in. I'm just showing you, look, nothing is sticking. So don't think that you need all that oil to cook. Trust me when I say this is a very lean cut of meat. However, it's good to go. All right, I just wanted to show you that. No stickage, nothing. It's good. So we're going to remove this meat from the pot. It's fully cooked. And we're going to go ahead and add in our veggies. Um, and prior to that, a little bit of olive oil. Use whatever oil you like. Um, because it's not at a very high temperature, uh, olive oil is fine. But it, if you want, you can use canola oil, uh, coconut oil, whatever you like. Do you, boo? I'm doing me. That just sounds so good, right? There's nothing like onions and bell peppers, I'm telling you, sizzling on a skillet. Child, I have some more seasonings um, that I'm going to add to our veggies. And it's just basically the same thing that I added to uh, the meat. However, I added a little bit of um, oregano, a little bit of oregano. And I'm going to reuse this little bowl because ain't nobody got time for no extra dishes. So put it to the side. We're going to use it when we make the bread. Now I've chopped the garlic and a little tidbit. I never knew this, but my husband told me this. Before you eat garlic, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes so that the enzymes have a chance to form and it ensures that you get the maximum health benefits. So before you use that garlic, make sure you let it sit. Alrighty, I have the garlic added, child. Oh my word, it smells so good. So, so very good. I'm just going to stir everything up. Pretty much, I'm just going to let it saute for another minute. Um, or so and then we're going to get everything uh, get the meat back add it in and then get this party started I'm telling you so quick and easy alrighty the meat has been added back I'm just going to mix everything back together at this point you can turn off the instant pot turn it completely off I left it on but it's okay 
it, it, it doesn't matter because I eventually turned it off. But yeah, at this point, go ahead and turn it off. And then you're going to layer everything up. And then turn it back on. Okay, so it's on the saute setting right now. We're going to turn it off on the saute setting and get everything loaded up. This is what it looks like, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I got you a plate ready. Don't you even worry. All righty, so the broth. Um, we got to go ahead and measure that out. I'm going to use one cup and a quarter. So a cup and a quarter worth of broth. I use unsalted. You use whatever you like. I'm just going to measure y'all because I cannot eyeball uh, one cup and a quarter. So, yeah. I like some some things I'm, I'm very precise. Other things I'm like, eh, it doesn't matter. But this I'm going to make sure so that we have it properly uh, measured for our Instapot. Okay. All right. I just wanted to show that to you. Oh, a cup and a quarter. All righty. So, I have our noodles. I'm using half a box. And um, let me show you this. I just want to take time to show you. I'm going to layer everything in like a bird's nest, if you will, crisscross. So you break it into thirds. And then as you layer these in the pots, this is how you're going to do it. Just pay attention really quick. I just wanted to show it to you. Because you want to ensure that every piece of the pasta gets um, some of that liquid. And I'm sorry the video is cut off, but yeah, there we are. So basically, make you a little hashtag sign as you put the noodles in the pot. Just do not just throw them in there any kind of way. You just want to kind of crisscross them, and that way every piece, every uh, all the surface area on the noodle gets a little bit of the liquid that we're going to add, so that we ensure that it, everything is cooked perfectly and neatly. Okay, you see how I'm kind of going crisscross? That's all you got to do. Makes like a little bird nest. That's what it sort of looks like, right? So as I'm layering this in, the next thing I'm going to do is get uh, one of our canned goods, the tomatoes, and then I'm going to put that right on top. Yeah. So like I said before, at this point, your Instapot is turned off. And you're just layering it because we're going to turn it back on in just a second. And this is real time, by the way. Alrighty, so I have our tomatoes. I'm going to add them right on top. Just kind of spread it around as you get it so that... All of the noodles on top have a little bit of the tomatoes because, of course, we know tomatoes are full of what? Water. So that's more liquid. Perfect for our pasta. And like I said, this is a fabulous meal to not even cook the pasta noodles. So now we're going to add in our sauce. Whatever sauce you like, add it on in. But don't just dump it in. I'm sorry. When you uh, put it in, you want to spread it around the same way we did with those tomatoes. Just so the surface areas of the, the top noodles have a little bit of that sauce as well. Oh my goodness, y'all. And this, just go around the edges. Can you see how I'm going around the edges? We don't want to mess up our nice tomato bed on top. So just go around the edges. And then we're going to get this bad boy sealed, child. It's time to go. It's time to eat. I'm going to load her up for seven minutes. And um, I'll share another tip with you in just a moment. Let me get the lid on. It's on saute. Remember, I told you that. So we're going to turn it off. It's on saute. We're going to turn it completely off. All right. And then we're going to turn it to, uh, we're going to put the lid on, close it. If I can get the lid on. Make sure that it is not venting, but in the sealed position. This is just footage from the very first time I used the Instapot. Um, this is the second time I've used it to make this particular dish. And I did want to show that for you. I forgot to record it uh, the second time. So yeah, that's why my nails were painted. And I'm in a new kitchen. <laughs> so, yeah. I just want to show you again. It's sealed. I have it on pressure cooker. High pressure for seven minutes. Now, y'all, this is the garlic. These are the rolls I like to use. Kroger brand. Cheap. Under $2. But they are so good. I take my favorite spices. Garlic. A teaspoon and a half of olive oil. I just have a little dill weed. Garlic. Sesame seeds. Italian spices. Just whatever you like. This is what I like to do. As you can see, it's a little dry, so I had to add in another half, uh, another teaspoon. Okay, so this is enough for about, I think, six rolls. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I wish you could smell this. God, it smells so, so good. I'm just going to go and put these in the toaster ovens according to the uh, package mm. this instructions. My little it's heifer came to see what we had going on, child. He loves to eat. Three minutes is left, y'all. Yay! It's almost done. So while it's on that, I put the bread in for three minutes. The last three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add our spread right on top so that it can toast up nicely, y'all. 
while that is working I have the parsley I'm gonna go ahead and chop it it was washed yesterday it's fresh I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it and guess what now it's ready look I just want to show y'all this this is from the first time I made my instant pot meal this is gonna hilarious look and I read the instructions don't laugh <laughs> <laughs> don't tell nobody okay yeah. all right now i read the instructions multiple times child, and i still had that reaction so just know this is my first pressure cooker it's too funny y'all but this is what it looks like when it's unsealed it will take 12 years for the steam to come out okay more like 10 minutes but yeah feels like 12 years <laughs> again this is footage from the first time i made this meal um, so, like, a lot of the tips that I'm sharing with you is because I made it a second time and tweaked it and got it perfect, okay? Alrighty, this is what it looks like the second time I made it. Y'all, I'm doing my happy dance. It's time to eat. Let's get this lid off so I can show you what it looks like. Here it is. Oh, my word. Do you see that? <laughs> Y'all, so easy, so simple, so quick. A full course meal in under an hour you can't beat it with a stick i'm telling you look at this and just so that you know when you make pasta in the instant pot there's always going to be like you see how it's kind of liquidy what only thing you need to do is put that lid back on let it sit for about another five to seven minutes it's going to absorb the noodles are going to absorb all of that liquid and guess what you'll be ready to eat so i normally do this like normally what i would do is at this point i'll go ahead and get the bread ready so that i can eat everything at the same time but hey i can wait what you think tell the truth you can do this right I'm telling you, at first I thought I could not, but you can. I know you can. If I can do it, you can do it too. Let me show you what I did when I got those rolls. And actually that uh, tablespoon plus the teaspoon, it made eight rolls. You know, it was enough of my bread sauce for eight rolls. You can't beat it with a stick. I'm telling you, so good, so divine, so quick. Everything is made at home. For the most part, you know what's in it. Oh my goodness, there's nothing like a home-cooked meal. And if you have to take shortcuts, guess what? Make them. If you like to make your own sauce, do that too. I do as well at times. But sometimes I just get that jar of sauce and I use it. Voila, look at that. Bon appetito. Did I say it right? <laughs> Don't matter if I did. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at this perfection i hope you will give it a try like this video thumbs up subscribe and please share my channel with a friend one more thing before i forget in the comments comment below let me know what you think if you've tried it if you want to try it if you've tried it let me know some of the variations you've used i would love to know let's chat and i think that's it for today i'll talk to you next time see you in the next video <laughs> be blessed